So before I start the video, I forgot to actually tell you guys all these commands are going to be in the description below so you can follow along using that. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to compile MindTest on Windows. And so I haven't seen any videos on this and the documentation on GitHub is pretty bad. So I spent about four to five hours figuring out how to do this with the help of Jordash. So as you can see here, I'm running the bare minimum. Uh, this is a fresh install of Windows. And so the only reason I have this version of Visual C++ is because OBS uses that. And so does HexChat, otherwise they won't work properly. But everything else is fresh. And so I've done this a couple of times so I can finally walk you guys through it without any problems. So let's just jump into it. We'll do mind test get up and we'll go to mind test and so we'll scroll down here and so now we're at the compiling on Windows section so we're gonna grab a couple of things here we're gonna grab Visual Studio CMake VC package and Git. so on the Visual Studio page we hover over this and then download the community version save it and run it it's going to take a couple of minutes, so just let it run after you hit continue. And now that we're at the Visual Studio installer, which automatically opens up, we're going to scroll down to Desktop and Mobile and click Desktop Development with C++. Then we're going to scroll down, go to Gaming, click Game Development with C++. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of data that needs to be downloaded, so just click the Install button and let it run. It should take about three to five minutes. And so once the installer finishes, it will try to open up Visual Studio. And now we're at the Visual Studio screen. So we can close this for now. So let's go back to Firefox. So we're going to download CMake. And so if you're on 64-bit Windows, download the 64-bit installer. And if you're on the 32-bit version of Windows, download the 32-bit version. So I'm on 64-bit, so I'm going to download the 64-bit version of CMake. And of course, run it. Click Next. You can leave everything as it is. And when that's finished, you can just click Finish and it'll close. So now we're going to move on to VC Package. And VC Package is pretty interesting. Um, it's a self compiling program. So we're just going to download the zip, save it, open it up. You could also git clone this if you want to install git first. I like to rename mine to just VC package. So we're just going to leave that on the desktop for now. And then we're going to download Git for Windows. It'll automatically detect your version of Windows. I'm going to save that file. We'll run this. Just install it with the default values. And once it finishes installing, check launch git bash click next and the reason I had you guys put the VC package on your desktop is because we can simply do this CD desktop VC package and we're just gonna run this command and this is gonna take a little while to run so just leave it running you can do something else while it's compiling and when that's done compiling we can finally go back to the documentation and then just copy this do a period and then a forward slash and hit shift to insert to paste and then hit enter and this is going to take a little while to install and compile so just let it run for a couple minutes so once that's finally done we can simply do cd dot dot and then we can do git clone and go back to the mind test github copy the url right click and paste and then hit enter and now you'll see it creates a mind test directory on our desktop with the source code on it so we'll go back to our CMake directory browse the source go to mind test select the folder and where to build the binary we go to mind test we go to build select the folder and then we click configure so it's gonna be set for Visual Studio 16 and I'm gonna set this manually to x64 and then we set specify toolchain for cross compiling click next
So we'll go to the desktop, VC package, scripts, build systems, and VC package dot CMake. Click open, click finish. And this will just take a moment to compile. And for some reason, this whole screen will turn red. Um, it says this warning is for project developers. So just ignore and click configure again. So one thing here uh, to make the game run as fast as possible, we're going to do the require Luigit section and we're going to check that. And then we'll click configure again. And for the next step, we're going to click generate. Now our CMake build instructions are completely configured. So now we're going to go to Visual Studio. We're going to open a project or a solution. We're already in the MindTest directory. So we'll go to Build. And then we'll go to All Build. So as you can see, we have a blank slate here. So we're going to change this to a release version. Make sure it's the same architecture as your system. We're going to go to build, build all build. And now you can see the debug info on the build process happening in this window. So just let this run. It's going to run for a little while. And so when it's done building at the bottom, you should see build six succeeded, zero failed, zero up to date, zero skipped. That might be different if you're rebuilding it. But anyways, if we go to our desktop, go to our mind test directory and go to bin we can go to release and now if we go to mind test it loads up perfectly and it tests this let's create a new world Oops. we gotta have a world selected and then we click play game and if you can walk around hear the noise etc etc then your build was completely successful Now let me show you how to install MindTest game from the terminal into the MindTest engine. So we're going to CD MindTest and then games. We're going to go back to the MindTest GitHub. Go to MindTest game. Just copy the URL. And for some reason this bash doesn't like to paste. But we're just going to manually paste it in. There we go. And now if we run it again. Now we have mind test game and we can try it out. And it looks like everything is working perfectly fine. So that's basically it guys. If you want to compile new versions of mind test, um, you could set this up so you can do a git update and then rebuild the source code. I can show you guys how to do that in another video if you want, but this is just the bare minimum. Uh, this is from a perspective of someone who hasn't really ever compiled something on Windows and wants to try the development versions of the game, which is literally where I came from earlier. But through attempt after attempt, I finally found a method that I can show you guys and that streamlines the process so you guys can easily install the development builds of the game and try things out and help the developers if they need help. So anyways, that'll be the end of this video. If you guys like this video, why not give it a like? If you want to see more stuff like this related to mind test, why not subscribe? And hopefully you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the way I presented it. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.